For 18 years, the residents of Westview Shores and Bayview Estates have had to contend with poor water quality. Low pH values make the water acidic, and metals, including iron and total dissolved solids, have made it unpleasant to drink. They always believed that the Pierce Creek dredge material containment area was to blame, but it wasn't until last week that their beliefs were confirmed by a U.S. Geological Survey report. People in our community, we, we want the thing closed. Remediate it, our words are remediate and close Pierce Creek. There's no, there's no good reason why any person living in this area would say this is a good idea to put this material there. <laughs> there's no, not one, you, there's no reason. It's impossible to have a, a valid reason why somebody living here would want dredge spoils there. I mean, it's, I don't know what kind of, you'd have to be, be totally stupid and never read anything. Um, the, the material out there is contaminated. Um, you know, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation is like, it's, it's bad stuff. And to condense it in a neighborhood is absolutely ridiculous. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is investigating the reopening of the Pierce Creek disposal area due to a lack of nearby affordable alternatives. A Corps spokesman told the WIG the difference between using Pierce Creek and their second alternative, Poplar Island, near St. Michael's, Maryland, is about $5 million. It must dredge the canal and approach channels every few years to ensure safe passage to the port of Baltimore do wells in our area, and they said they ran out of money, and so they didn't. And what they did do is talk to the health department, and they got them to do tests. Well, they just did their regular tests that they do, which is for like about, I don't know, eight things. The other was like 200. Mm -hmm. So we've got a disconnect, and so I actually had, you know, like some of this material and so then they sent a letter out to everybody, if you want your water tested, you know, we'll test it for free. The county, you know, which is the state health department, they did this test, but it only has a, you know, very, it's like this, this many things instead of this many. So that's the problem. So that's where we are today. So the, any data that I look at isn't really, the, the, you know, the, it is not addressing the issues that were over here. And, and, you know, they got this little bit. And the test that they do had to do basically with taste, odor, and appearance of the water. Most residents of Westview Shores and Bayview Estates use expensive, multi-level water filtration systems, like the one seen here in Cowley's home, to make well water safe for drinking. Some homes even use reverse osmosis systems to treat the water again. The water is so acidic that it often corrodes through pipes, links, or even hot water heaters. It's extremely acidic. And if you go to Hart Miller Island, there's no trees on Hart Miller Island. There won't be any on Poplar Island. There's only certain grasses that can, that can live in that, and they, they know which grasses they are. They're weeds um, that will grow on that. And some, if you drive by here and look at the berm, every once in a while you'll see some tree grow, but it's on the slope because the roots are, you know, come on, here's the, the and, and the roots are spread out on the side in that upper layer. But if, it, if you just went into the upper surface and put it down, the, the, the trees will die. That's it, coming right over to Conowingo Dam in here. And so the highest concentration, and, and this entrance right here is, goes up into the canal and into the Delaware River, the eighth most contaminated river in the United States. And this, Susquehanna is like the 22nd or the 20th or whatever. Uh, there's 123 waste treatment plants in here that are out of compliance quite often on feeding water into, into Susquehanna. So at this point right here, you have the material flowing in from the Delaware River, which is highly contaminated. You have stuff coming down from Pennsylvania, and it's right here in this channel that is the issue. And that's why they want to get the closest place they can to get rid of it and so that their ships can traverse. They're going to have to dredge for, you know, as long as there's ships and as long as there's 
there's a silt coming down, uh, they're going to have to dredge. So um, it doesn't belong in a residential area. They've come up with these islands, and that's the best, the best, safest way to get rid of them. Following the study's publication last week, the Corps has announced it intends to put in an impermeable barrier to block the leaking of contaminants and then reopen the Pierce Creek dredge material containment area. It will also explore drilling new wells in uncontaminated aquifers for residents, but that solution hasn't satisfied everyone. I don't know how this is all going to shake out and be resolved, but it's, it's totally unsatisfactory. For more on this story, go to CecilDaily.com.